And welcome back. St. Edwards University is launching its first ever nursing program for the fall semester. Now this comes as the need for more nurses in Texas continues. And joining us now is Dr. Donna Buke, founding director of nursing at St. Edwards University. So thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for the invitation. Okay, so a lot of dramatic changes. We've been covering those here really in healthcare over the past few years. How is this program going to help fill some of those gaps that we're seeing, not just in Texas, but really around the country? So we're welcoming our first cohort of RN to BSN students this fall. So they're already registered nurses or they're finishing up their first um, degree and associate and they can come in right at the very end of that. But what we're doing is really making a transition from an associate degree nurse to a baccalaureate degree nurse because we know that there's more positive patient outcomes, there's career mobility, and it just really stretches out the the breadth of what a nurse can do in our community. Okay, and now if someone's watching and they are thinking about this program, who is the ideal candidate? And can you really walk us through what their journey would be like? Because this is a pretty flexible program and I'm assuming that they'll have a job when they graduate. <laughs> so most of the nurses probably already have a job. Okay. You know, maybe they're just taking, um, that next step into their career. They want to go into management or they want to go out into community population health. So many different um, career opportunities that they have to have a baccalaureate degree in order to do. Or like I had mentioned previously, they have, um, they're in an associate degree program, they're finishing that up and then they want to just go ahead and continue that on. So there's two different really pipelines into the RN to BSM program. One is for those that are completing their degree mm -hmm. and getting ready to be registered nurses. So theirs is just more of a transfer into the university and continue in the studies that they've been doing for the last two to three years. But the other population of students that we're really trying to, to attract and to give that opportunity to advance their careers and, um, and their own personal um, integrity and professional identity is um, is a student or the registered nurses that have been out there for a while mm. and so you know sometimes that's a year to two years depending on if they were hired in with that um, mandate that they go ahead and get that baccalaureate degree mm -hmm. or they could be like someone else um, that's been out 10 years 20 years and deciding to go back and to make that transition maybe they've been at the bedside and now they want to go into case management mm -hmm. or they want to go into some other type of nursing field and they need that degree so one of the things that's very unique about st edwards is that we are um, a very low student to faculty ratio which is important <laughs> that is very important and our courses are offered online mm. so that's really important however there's one little catch to that flexibility okay. especially for the nurse that hasn't been back in school for a while oh my goodness what do i do mm. you know i have to be able to get back into school i've got work how do i balance all of that so one thing that we're going to do that's a little bit different is once a month the faculty will be on campus to meet with those students so if you choose to come to campus and to work with your faculty member member in a seminar type um, atmosphere maybe you've got questions about that online assignment that's due maybe you're going back and doing some more advanced um, assessment skills we'll put them through um, our assessment lab let them have the opportunity to do that through simulation so we're really wanting to make that connection while it's flexible and online we do want to have that personal touch and one-on-one -on -one opportunity for anyone that wants it, but it's yeah. not required. Okay, but it's not required. Okay. It's not required. And we were showing some renderings of the Simulation Learning Resource Center. Walk us through that. That looks really, really cool. That is very, <laughs> very cool. So Fleck Hall um, is named, you know, for the nursing mm -hmm. program and the first floor is where this uh, renovation is happening. So there will be two high fidelity simulation um, labs in there. One will focus on acute care adult. The other one will be 100 percent focused on women, children, and family. Mm. So it's like an in-birthing suite, very much like what you might see at Dell Children's or somewhere similar to that. Then there's um, a large clinical skills lab where students can come in, they can practice those clinical skills, and then also uh, health and physical wellness. So we were talking earlier about the students coming back mm. to campus and all. Nurses play a huge part in um, school nursing, as we know. And so just, you know, honing up their skills and getting better at that assessment component of it. Okay, and then if people are interested and they want to learn more about the program and actually apply, what can they do? They can go to stedwards.edu forward slash nursing and there's just one little click and we can get them on the process of getting that application completed. Okay, you make it simple. Dr. View, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. David? Hey, thanks so much. Another